Welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Story Mode. Uh, we are we zooming off. We're what was what did we do last time? Uh, what was it? Dag on it. Oh, I think we hot air ballooned. Check see if John Marston was um in the prison, which he was. So, now we're going to go up. And we found out he has tuberculosis. Things aren't good right now. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to go, um, rescue John now. Oh, we got a stranger mission here. Breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. God no. dang. No, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Wolf, wolf. Put the knife man down. Do something. He'll only eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Oh, shoot. Hey, big boy mad. Oh, get him. Get trying to kill this man and beat me up. Control your beast. You should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving in a bit, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. You wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? <laughs> you got a whoopsie. I know. He no, deserved the whoopsie. Make it all better. But first you gotta tell I'm gonna me teach him not to put his hands on other people. Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize <laughs> to these men. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gave me a whoop. Hey, stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank My you God. for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I can try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. No. Magnifico. Come along, Bertram. All right. That back. Let's go rescue John Marston. Oh, there they are. I see him. You're a good boy. All right. Go all the way to the penitentiary. 
Get this dude out of jail. What's up, sexy? If this all you like ain't happening, Arthur Taylor. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you <laughs> heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right. Here, go All right, here we go, fellas. Got to rescue him a couple times now. Okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Hey, look. Then four. I know. I hate that she's so hot because she's kind of distractive. Like him. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front it of could be him right here. Just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out and let's go. You don't think that was John? Okay. Definitely not John. <laughs> Sadie, come on. Great. Now we screwed up. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, Mr. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marsden? She ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. <laughs> Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Get him, Sadie. Come on, partner. <gasps> oh. Hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, <laughs> where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Esther Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're, they're not going to let you do this. They don't have a choice. You, my friend. Yep. 
We need John Marston. <laughs> I wish we can pick this up. Walking a little slow. I am. Yeah, get him, sexy. There, that was beautiful. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Grab the goddamn gun. Hey, listen to her. We gonna blow his head off. Jameson! Is Jameson here? He's in San Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. No. Uh, Milliken, <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Will you count <laughs> for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11? <laughs> 12? Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. Number one, for nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastard. Come on. <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, <laughs> hey, John, know you too? Now, no funny business for well, Mr. Medican here to stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Oh! Oh! Oh, he's getting shot by his own team! Oh God. I don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, yeah! Okay, run. Some hooch. 
Run. I'm coming. Quit screaming at me. Go, go. go. I ride with Sadie. You want to take my you. horse? <laughs> Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets weird. Yeah, let's go. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. Mm -mm. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... It is a mess. What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. The only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm. And we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're going to have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids, some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Judge didn't want us breaking you out. And it wasn't the right time, so you might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. He's not. He's going crazy. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we huh. don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. It's all Micah. Yes, not. Now things are not well. sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And 
when spring and John brings the law down on all of us. What then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I'm loyal to the gang, I Dutch. Goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They, they was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Man. You can't just be loyal to Dutch. You gotta be loyal to the, the whole gang. Don't you mean Dutch is not the same? You and Mike all buddy buddy now. Be me and Dutch. Now it's Micah and Dutch. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. All right, that's, oh man, let's head to, uh, Annisburg. All right, we're here. Um, I'm going to do Edith Downs first. I'm going to do Dutch, I mean, Micah, whatever. Yeah, there, boy. Uh, let's go ahead and do. the money she said your money weren't moral she said it'd be better to die than to take it maybe she's right I don't know I don't know anything about morals she's still heading out working you know I'm sorry son sorry about all of this Look, she ain't been back for a few hours she left with some fellow down the railway tracks I did not like the look of him which way you see uh, that way around the woods towards uh Willard's rest I'll see what I can do Hang on, man. Uh, Zeus? Zeus? Oh, my gosh. This might be the last mission for Edith Downs. I thought she was like right over there. Where is she at? Dang on it. Where did she go? Well, 
That's enough now, partner. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Oh. Ooh. Like Arthur, man. Listen. He's a bad bug. Listen. <laughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was um, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Down. I'm just so ashamed. You want to die out here? On account of your pride? that make you happy, would it? I guess not. Then let's get you out of here. Can't ask. You got a demand. Got to be stern. Oh. All right. Now I'm giving you money. You gonna get the heck out of Dodge? Voice crack there. Dude, I got your mother. Mama, Mama. Oh, oh. Oh, you silly boy. What? What we do? Get out of here. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folks. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Gracious. Go see what this turd wants. Where is he at? Where's he in the... Just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, duh. Uh, oh, maybe it's a Micah. Only back a minute, Pinkerton show up. 
We've been on the run since you saying Bill went crazy in Blackwater. told everybody our lives in San Denis. was the war asking? Well, or wasn't his fault, talked, but, but who else? So it was his fault, but he was too stupid, I guess. Well, maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are and where we are and what we're doing. The way I see it. Best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get her money, start over. That ain't you, Micah well, is definitely the rat. <clears fast. throat> Look at him. He's like completely com betrayed the whole game Pants besides them. Dutch. They've got us pinned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need one. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> Micah waits to, uh, till I'm weak and sick. So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to Where he starts dead. ragging on me. He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. <laughs> so why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's Ooh. America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Okay. Sure, Dutch. Cornwall's Whoa. boat is due in soon. Down here, Move. <clears throat> I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. <laughs> the law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as needs them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses. Sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. 
And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Oh, God! Noise, Arthur! Noise! Oh, shit! Pinkertons! Holy crap. I love the scope, this uh, revolver. And it's powerful. Well, I should have let him kill you. Oh, shoot. Cornwall's dead now? That's awesome. Now we just not need to kill the Pinkertons. Or the head of the Pinkerton. Oh! <laughs> oh, I want to kill Michael so bad. What do you mean? I'm in front of both of y'all, so be quiet, Dutch. Get the bonds or whatever, the papers. Oh, 
<clears throat> this is just crazy. I ain't talking a whole lot, but I'm kind of focused. We're gonna see Dutch on a normal sized horse. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite, take Bill, I guess, Arthur, you go too. We are going to need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk, figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out. You know what I mean? How it's Dutch and Micah now? It has been, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. It used to be me and Dutch. Man. Let's just get through these missions. Get this game over with. Because this has been a fantastic series. I mean, there's always, always time at the end of the game to do side missions that we haven't done. So, you know, let's just get these uh, doing. To uh, get the side missions done, so we can just go ahead and get this story done. Hey, Swanson. Reverend, you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt. I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear we need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise we ain't so good at doing scores anymore dutch are you feeling all right arthur sure fine pardon me for interrupting i brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle, eagle flies. flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we uh, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? 
You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come Dutch. on. I mean, you're, you're crazy. Yeah. Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Hmm. Charles. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Don't let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this Excuse world. me, Swanson, or not Swanson. Okay, young man, the freak your name is. This is your fault I got TB. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform school. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Hmm. That you're gonna. We're already. Pinkertons are after us. Are now you're gonna have the army after us. You're gonna hit the army on us. It's closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? Or Micah. I guarantee you it's Micah. Oh, there's bucks fighting over there. Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back to the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have That's to all you say, me. Dutch. There's Peta. Peta? What? Oh. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. 
The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. We need to get that boat ashore. I'm I think doing that. Plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. Then when we got I don't need to pick up the base there. There you go. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Why am I the only one pedaling? Whoa. Come on, get down, get up there. I'm doing that. You go down. Might get him upstairs. This is uh What the hell? Take it back, what's Oh shoot. Come on now. Plant dynamite. Back to freak up, mother freaker. Boom. Boom. Now we're going down, probably. Oh, how did that not sink the boat? Oh god. Uh oh. Oh man. What a disaster, man. I just don't know why we're helping them. We got our own problems to worry about. Just killed a fish. Arthur, get this horse over here. Right. Wrong with what is wrong with you?
Wait for Dutch to tell the gang what to do. Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Why the army ain't wise? Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did He's not gonna do get anything killed. so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp. Check on the others. Touch his behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. All right. See what he's, what we're doing. I think we're getting some dynamite or whatever. Got a Rain's Fall mission and Sadie's mission. Alright. Oh, Mike. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because mm. it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief where you're headed. Micah, shut it. He started it. Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We, we kill Micah, please. Explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. Yeah, that's cool. shows. We gotta confuse them one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's there. Yeah, you ain't going to Blackwater. Knows. Moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Andersburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> All right, let's <clears throat> go. All right. Get this mission over with. Come through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Okay. What was you jawing about before? What? Pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks, you see, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Whoa! Okay. Let's hold up here. 
So, the wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of you. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. You play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Okay, my mic is muted the whole time. Good thing I caught that. How did that not kill him? Camp. Keep on with our missions. His hair. We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. Scott, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. 
really does think Bill, he's in charge. Go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat. And I like to annoy you. Right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. Yeah, you are. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Arthur. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Zeus. Who is it? Oh, Driscoll. We gotta go make sure he swings. We gotta go meet Sadie and, uh... What's his face? What? Brother Dorkins. so riled up today is a great day arthur today is the day they are going to hang comb o'driscoll uh so rather they hang him or i shoot him oh they are gonna hang him yeah and not before time that boy's been on the gallows more than most i wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke well nor would i which is why despite us being wanted men we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him on to the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. <laughs> but if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this, in this. Please. <laughs> does not suit her whatsoever well don't we just look the part we'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows we keep our weapons holstered our disguises on and our wits about us mrs adler might i say being a fancy woman of saint denis suits you <laughs> i dress up like the queen of sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway colm hung me up nearly butchered me don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those <laughs> fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. I miss the old Dutch. Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Yes, we Look do. Here. Don't the public love an execution? My goodness. See that pair of assholes? Sure. <laughs> They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. 
I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. <laughs> the crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. No, we yes, do not. They did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Hey, you were. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Oh, the old Driscoll with Dutch. Let's go quiet. What does it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So, what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we'll have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building, maybe, and get him. Yep. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. All right. Find a way on the rooftop. Get out onto the roof. You know how I can do that? I guess you could go out on the balcony. If you took the stairs up a level. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Gallows, gallows. Here we go. Oh, yeah. He's swinging. We ain't letting anybody cut him loose. <laughs> Another freak you don't, mother freaker. Oh. Here we go. Shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must. Oh, he's carry crapping out himself. Ready. Oh yeah, he's going to cry. He's crapping himself. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Yep. No, you know how it feels to watch something you love die. You ruined my life. Oh. Ooh. Look out! Look out! Deal with this way! 
you done? Heck yeah. The Mr. Old Driscoll Swing. <laughs> that was a success. such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. <laughs> Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything, for everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant and the giant wins time and again you've broken my heart again and i fear i have broken yours and for that i will never forgive myself but you must let me go now i enclose a ring hmm. you gave me many years ago when we were both young not because i don't like it but because i care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Good Lord. 